All right, everybody. Big day at Tapis Shack today. The, um, the old cobweb is coming down. All the cabling's been run. And we're going to put up there a yaki. So, um, I'll be back in a bit as soon as I know more and a little bit more action. Bye for now. So, here we are. This is the first strip down. The cobweb is coming off. And we're just dropping the 40 metre bazooka down on the mast a bit. So, once that cobweb's off, then we can get the rest up. So, right, back in a second. Back. The cobweb is no longer. In fact, there you go. It's all been packed away. I've not split it down 100%. It's all right at that height. So it's fully, it's piss ball to put back up. So that's one cobweb, saved for later. Beautiful antenna, that. And now we've got this scenario. We've got some welding to do. We've got to weld. These brackets have seen better days. I'm having two more fabricated. Well, if you look at this bracket, it's snapped off. I'll put some WD on these, make them better. So we're going to have to cut that off, flush with that and then weld the same size bolt to it. That won't take long. So I'll put some WD on them and clean them up. And that's if the rain holds off, because that is black. And then I'll let you know exactly how we get on with the beam. I'd be a bastard to put on this pole. Sorry for swearing, viewers. I need a proper mast. I can hear Keith now saying, get rid of them scaffolds and get a proper mast. Well, I've heard you. I am. But for now, that's all I've got. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick it on there for now. Right, catch you in a bit. I'm back. Here we go. Getting done. So it'll not be long, lads. And this thing will be up. It's a monster. Fucking mini beam my ass. The council will be knocking on the door tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking huge. Right, guys. I'll show you a bit when I'm back. It. Just wanted to give you a little better view of it on the pole setting up. Yeah. All the neighbours are curtain twitching already. Well, we'll see guys. We will see. In a bit. It's getting a bit dark now. When the lads up there look. I'm supervising again. Give him a wave, Andrew. <laughs> so, um, it's a challenge. I'll be back in a minute, lads. I'm back. It's getting dark. A lot of mess to shift, but that'll have to wait well tomorrow. But there you go. It's up. It's operational. We've got to test things yet, but well, not test. It's tested. It's working. Just got to tidy everything up. Um, it's don't look that big now, although <laughs> I think I'm trying to kid myself. <laughs> so she's up. I'll do a video later of uh, the reception I'm getting and whatnot. Happy days, lads. 
I'm a bean boy. <laughs> Catching on. Right, people, I'm in the shack now. Um, so the antenna is the Cushcraft. It's a bad time actually to show you the bands and how it, how good or bad it is because um, the bands are not very good at all. They're shocking. We've got a lot of static on uh, 20 meters. Last night it was just incredible. But anyway, what I can do is I'll show you the um, SWR um, because, as you know, the uh, Cushcraft uh, covers five bands. So we'll start with. Um, I'm already on for it here. So we'll come out of there. That's the data. Um, I'll show you the full SWR. I've got the bar graph set at 13. So it covers more of the uh, band for the SWR. Um, the tune's off. So here we go. So as you can see, at round about 100, um, it looks... Well, it's it's quite high, um, but the reason for that is it's um, I've got it set mainly for the voice section. Um, I can get it down in the uh, in the data should I need it. That's not a problem. Um, but as I said, I like it. I prefer it in the uh, the SWR in the voice section. And you can see, yeah, it may need a little bit more tweaking. Um, but nothing major. It's um, it's perfect for me. Uh, three one three. It starts to raise above two, but again, it's nothing that the tuner can't bring in. So there you have it. That's twenty meters. So we'll go to seventeen meters. No tune on. And it is absolutely perfect on this band. And as you know, 17 is a whack, so it's using um, it's, it's using a dipole um, on the Cushcraft. We've got a 15. And I'll tune on it. Here we go. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. Very happy with that. It took a lot of faffing about to get it, to be honest, but um, you've got to do these things, haven't you? Um, 12 meter band is another wax, so again, a dipole. I don't need to show you any more than that. That is absolutely perfect. And then down to 10 meters. Um, it's incredible. So that's just showing you the SWR um, from the Cushcraft MA5B and what you can achieve with it. Yeah, there might be a bit of tweaking I can do on 20 meters, but for now I'm very, very happy with that. And uh, I have been using it, and last night I used, um, uh, I used the antenna to um, DX and um, the reception on it is crystal clear. It's got fantastic ears, this thing. As I say, the conditions aren't very good today, so... And, um, to be honest, the uh, rotator that I'm using, um, it's an old rotator. I weren't going to knock it because it came with the uh, with the Cushcraft and it will do for now it definitely needs a new one um, a better one um, there's no doubt about that but um, for now it will do let's just have a look at 17 now the bands are shocking but that's just to show you um, I will do a separate video um, of me using it um, you know, live one night when the when the conditions are better, um, and show you how it operates on ears and TX. But um, so far, so good. It's a very nice 
um, antenna. I'm very surprised at how good it is at listening. It's improved the quality of audio on virtually everything. So there you go. Right, that's enough from me. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you further down the log. 73s. Bye bye for now.